begin to uh, look at how nuclear safety is ensured at the design stage. So we will see the different aspects from beginning with uh, the risk, uh, the concept of safety function, uh, a very important principle which is defense in depth, and then the two different approach of uh, the safety analysis, which is a deterministic approach and the probabilistic approach, including the treatment of uh, hazards. But first, let's look at the main risk from uh, nuclear power plants. Uh, of course, the first risk is linked with the uh, efficient reaction, but it's important to say uh, right here that uh, a uh, nuclear plant cannot be transformed in an atomic bomb because of the physical arrangement of the elements of the core that render that impossible. Then there is the risk from radiation, and we will look at, have a look on the risk in normal operation, and uh, of course the risk of accident, which is uh, the major one. So, <clears throat> what are the, the risks from the f fission reaction? Of course, the immediate risk is that this uh, uh, reaction goes out of control. So, there is the need to control the uh, fission uh, reaction. That's the immediate risk. But there is also a deferred risk, because even when the, the fission reaction has stopped, there is a lot of fission products which are radioactive, even if they are decaying in terms of radioactivity, that it remains what we call the residual power. And so there is a team, the, the need for long term cooling after the shutdown of the reactor. And another element very important to control is the confinement in order to avoid the uh, radioactive products to escape and get to the environment. So now the, the risk from radiation. Radiation has uh, some uh, biological impact on the cells, either destroying them or modifying their structure. So there are two kinds of, of consequences of that. Uh, an immediate consequence, the destruction of the tissue, that it's like uh, exactly like uh, what, when, when you got a burn, but there is also a deferred effect and the, the um, modification of cell could lead to some cancer or to some uh, uh, hereditary an anomalies. There are two ways of uh, impacting living material from radiation. Uh, we, we call the first one irradiation. It's a the situation where the radiation comes from the outside um, and uh, this could occur without any contact with the radioactive uh, products. The way to be protected against irradiation is by um, putting some screens or uh, increasing the distance between the source and uh, the, the living material. Uh, another way of being impacted by the uh, radiation is uh, through what we call contamination. It's, this happens when you ingest some contaminating uh, products or inhale, uh, breath ring, or if you are touching some deposit of uh, radioactive uh, products. Um, so if the contamination is uh, outside, this could be eliminated by washing, and this is the reason why each time you exit the nuclear plant, you have to wash your hands, and uh, if you are contaminated, you have to go through a shower. Uh, and if you happen to inhale or to uh, ingest some contaminated uh, products, uh, the uh, elimination is uh, done uh, as, uh, through the uh, decay of the radioactivity or uh, through uh, biological processes. So the uh, unit um, used for measuring uh, the impact of radiation 
is uh, the gray. Uh, and the gray is equivalent to one joule per kilo. Um, but the harmful impact on living materials depend on the type of radiation and the type of organ or cell involved. And it's not the same for uh, a neutron or a, a beta gray. And uh, so we use this concept of effective dose unit, and it's uh, the most uh, used. Uh, and if you hear the uh, the media, you uh, hear talking about uh, sievert or millisievert. So one uh, sievert is equal of one gray for uh, beta and uh, gamma radiation, but the impact could be much more important for uh, the neutron radiation. And in this case one C first uh, equal 10 or, or 20 uh, gray. There are um, strict limits uh, from radiation through uh, regulation and, and uh, so the standards. Uh, for the general public, the annual dose uh, is one millisievert per year, but for nuclear workers uh, who have uh, specific uh, annual medical follow-up, uh, the maximum allowed uh, dose is 20 millisievert per year. Uh, we have to compare that to uh, natural average, average irradiation, which for instance in France is 2.2 millisievert a year, uh, and, uh, but in some other parts of, of the world, and for instance uh, in some part of India, uh, the natural average irradiation could reach uh, 10 millisieverts a year. And the uh, impact on, on radiation uh, depends also on the, uh, the quantity of, uh, of, of the dose and the figure of 5 sievert uh, is something important because this is the beginning of the point when you have, be, have uh, some deterministic impacts. That means that the, it's certain and there is a proof that this kind of dose has uh, a specific impact. Below this value of uh, 5 uh, sieverts, we talk about stochastic effects. This, that means that uh, for this low dose, you have a certain probability of having an impact, but it's not uh, something certain. Let's have a look now in the, the risk in normal operation. First to say is that for the public in normal operation, the, the, the risk is completely insignificant because of strict authorized limits of uh, both radioactive gases and, and liquid releases. And uh, uh, the, the, there is this principle of HALARA, which means as low as reasonably achievable, and uh, this is a principle which is applied on all nuclear facility, where if there is something that could reduce uh, the uh, the release either uh, in in either form, uh, the measure that uh, should be taken to uh, make to implement these elements and reduce again the the dose incurred by, by the public. Um, for the uh, the workers and specifically for the maintenance uh, staff, there is some risk of irradiation and, and contamination because, of course, they were closer to the source of uh, radiation. So, the measure uh, which are taken to reduce uh, the ri this risk is uh, wearing of uh, specific uh, clothing equipment. Um, in uh, including some uh, scaphandria. Uh, we use also screen, lead screen around the piping when there is some contamination inside the, the pipe. And the, uh, the dose incur is also permanently measured through uh, dosimeters, dosimeters. It is also important to limit the time of exposure. And uh, for instance, before making some control in the steam generator tubes, uh, the uh, uh, operate the maintenance staff, the persons who make this inspection, are trained to to jump in the box of the steam generator uh, in order to limit the time it takes to make the job. 
So the main risk is uh, the risk of uh, accident. And uh, accidents have happened and, and they could happen. And uh, prevention and mitigation of these accidents is, uh, is the very purpose of, uh, of, of nuclear safety. Because the, the, the consequence of, a, of an accident is to release, potentially release contaminated water or gas. And if there is some fuel degradation, there will be also the release of fission products. So, uh, just uh, we just mentioned here the three major nuclear accidents that have occurred in, in the world. Uh, the first one is the accident at Three Mile Island in the U.S. in 1979. Uh, there was no significant release and no health impact uh, of this accident because uh, there, there was a, a, a nice reactor around the, uh, this, this facility and uh, this, uh, but but th this accident has had a large impact and uh, on the way uh, we see nuclear safety and uh, we will come back a little bit uh, on then uh, on on the one of the next uh, part. Another big accident was uh, Chernobyl in the USSR in 1986. This occurred in a very specific design, the RBMK. There have been a major release, uh, very significant health impact with a lot of uh, people that died from, from this accident. Uh, and again, we will come back on that uh, later. And the most recent one well, uh, that I, I think most of you remind uh, is uh, the Fukushima accident in 2011 in Japan. That was a boiling water reactor. There have been some important releases, but thanks to uh, a rapid evacuation of uh, population around the plant, the health impact of this accident has been uh, very limited. And so again, we will see some uh, more details uh, in the section on uh, operation.